very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I'm really very happy and very glad for our results in the last week Angela has finally sent the results as we can see in just one day we made nearly uh, 300 pips of profit the following days were really actually very good especially 6 May it was almost like uh, 200 pips uh, or more however 7th May Thursday was actually weird because we noticed that the market uh, has went in abnormal condition and went in high volatility uh, action and therefore we send the, not the notification to close all the open positions with break even however those who did not follow the advice have ended the day in the best day of the week with nearly 400 pips of profit delivered sorry 300 pips of profit delivered to them so many of the members actually did not close these trades because the signals were really good they were really good and they were valid uh, and therefore they did not close their trades then friday uh, we also had a good day ending the week with no more than 500 pips of profit and those who kept these signals running has earned more than 845 pips of profit actually we have some message messages from the members who have actually continued the trading these signals and they made some decent profit for example this guy here in one day he earned 322 dollars of profit just in one day that's amazing he just paid 50 dollars per month for these signals and in one day he earned all that money that's amazing even this guy here in just one trade he covered the monthly fees to join the premium signals that's really outstanding i mean i'm really glad this is the same guy 823 dollars in just one day have been made by him that's really what i really want to see exactly look at this message from one of the members who did not follow the advice and kept the trades running he said that even though you advised to close all of the trades due to the market abnormal condition i still get profit so the, the the members are really happy and they are glad please if you don't want to take my words take it from these clients who are really happy and glad for growing their account this is the same guy 215 dollars of profit also in one day that's outstanding that is what i like to see so the signals just uh, are doing really very well we are doing so good and i'm happy because uh, we kept our promise to the clients to hopefully do our best to grow their account so if you wish to join the extreme trader premium signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in this in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so moving on to the weekly analysis we can notice something on the euro usd on daily candles that the market has been ranging in so much high volatility for a long time for nearly two months therefore we need to be careful and therefore the signals for this week uh, is gonna be for short term signals uh, will be valid i think for one or two days only then on the midweek analysis video hopefully i'm gonna give new signals so looking right now at the current situation on the euro usd we can notice that on daily candles this candle has closed as a pin bar however that price action is not so much valid at this position right now it's not at the higher high or the lower low therefore we need to go now back to the four hour chart and study the chart as it is what it is sh what is it showing to us now from what, I, what from what i can see here if we draw here a support trend line and we apply it like that we can notice something here let me just draw also a resistance line that the market most likely seems like it's gonna reverse from that level so the euro usd most likely on opening on monday uh, it's gonna grow up uh, sorry <laughs> it's gonna rise to this level hitting this previous resistance level right here and right here and then it's gonna continue the bearish reversal at least to hit this previous support level so we can expect this uh, from the euro usd to reverse at least to hit this uh, previous support level that might give us approximately 100 pips of profit now there is something else i wanted to share with you uh, we need to, to identify first the key support and resistance levels so if we look at the left if we scroll more to the left we can notice that we're having right here exactly this one here the key support level remember i'm on the four hour chart let me just zoom out again 
like that so we can tell exactly that here is the key support level that is the level we are going to rely on now the thing happened is on the four hour chart we had this very strong bearish breakout candle meaning that the bears are actually controlling the market right now and we can depend on the bearish momentum therefore we are going to short the euro usd for this week and i don't think after all these resistance attempts and what we are what's similar to be like a fake breakout on this level remember we are on the four hour chart this mark the market actually tried to break out from that level and then following later we had this bearish breakout candle like it says that the market has failed to break out from that resistance level therefore that resistance is gonna keep its position again and we can start shorting the euro usd right from that point here so let me just be more accurate uh, the US, euro usd is good for the short we can sell the euro usd at the level 1.08751 and we can keep the trade running as i said for short term only because we don't want to risk uh, keeping the trade running for long time uh, we can make it running only until it hit this previous support level that is gonna be our take profit take profit is one po uh, sorry one point zero seven eight five nine now for the stop loss i'm gonna set a stop loss right here if it's break out if it's gonna break out from that resistance level the stop loss is gonna be actually it should be more it should be higher than that uh 56 of uh, loss that is the what we can do actually i'm gonna increase the take profit it should be at the lowest uh, level of this support level let me just adjust adjust the take profit level to be on 0 0.7671 and the stop loss stop loss is gonna be on 1.09321 so that's your signal for the euro usd hopefully it will be valid and give us a lot of profit let's now head to the pound usd now the pound usd is showing us something very similar as we can see looking at the pattern on daily candles we are having here double top on the uh, pound usd not to mention that the very same level also was a key resistance level that means that most likely the pound usd is going to fall this week and we are going to look for uh, opportunities for the short let me just give you the safest uh, levels to start shorting the euro sorry the pound usd now looking at this chart on the four hour chart uh, we on the four hour candle sorry we can see that here we are having the highest uh, top level of the resistance three attempts of them we can see that we are on the highest top of these uh, three attempts we can actually rely on this after seeing this bearish breakout candle we can see that the market exactly tried to reverse at the very same level but that resistance kept its position as a resistance and it's gonna keep its position as a resistance as well right here in my opinion the pound usd should be good for the short right away however we cannot risk that we are going to send the signal to start shorting the pound usd at the level 1.24672 and the stop loss is gonna be above this resistance level if the market continued uh, rising is gonna be your stop loss at 1.25327 because if this happens if the market break out from that level it will be actually breaking out from the 61 level 61.8 Fibonacci and that means most likely that the market is going to continue rising all the way until hitting that resistance therefore that's going to be our stop loss and the take profit level as I said it's going to be short uh, signals for this week short term signals for this week therefore I'm going to set my take profit level sorry take profit is going to be on 1.233 sorry two three five six four so that's your signal for the pound usd and hopefully it's gonna work out now let's take a look at the aud usd looking at the daily candles of the aud usd we are seeing that the market is trying to approach this highest level of the resistance 
Now we need to be sure if the market is gonna indeed reverse on this, uh, on this resistance or not because looking at the history if we check the history we had here a resistance at this previous support but the market has actually broken out from that resistance and reversed right here indeed so we need to check if the same scenario won't happen again and we need to be sure that the AUD USD won't actually break out and go all the way to hit this resistance level so let's just be sure and check the uh, key resistance levels or support levels at the very same level so scroll to the left let me delete these lines we don't need them anymore uh, 97246 97 no this is different line I need to get rid of all these other lines uh, just hold on guys let me just delete all the other lines yeah it's only this one we draw here on weekly candles monthly candles actually you can see that we had a resistance level right here however that doesn't mean that the signal is valid for sell here to be honest with you frankly speaking I don't think uh, the AUD USD is gonna be safe for the short from that point I think we're gonna be shorting the AUD USD right from that level here indeed let me just be sure and look more to the left just to be sure again sorry guys I know I'm not analyzing uh, front of you but I just want to be sure that you are uh, living with me the moment of analyzing so you can do it also yourself as you know our channel is uh, educational forex channel so just scrolling more to the left and see here right here so we had here some resistance levels right here and right here uh, however that is not a key resistance level that I can actually rely on that is a good resistance level right here and it was a strong support so I would safely say or fairly sorry fairly say that we can start shorting the AUD USD right on this level uh, we have to wait for the AUD USD to rise for another 70 pips so now going back to the 4 hour chart that is exactly where we can start shorting the AUD USD let me just make sure it is accurate as much as possible like that yes indeed so AUD USD should be good for the short at the level 0 0.66236 and the stop loss is gonna be right above that resistance level actually that might be a lot of pips actually yes uh, almost 70 pips however that's what we can do this is th this is what the setup is giving us uh, stop loss is at 0 0.66935 and then our take profit level is gonna be at this nearest support level right here which is gonna be hopefully 115 pips hopefully in profit take profit 0 0.65077 so that's what that is the signal for the AUD USD and let's hope it will also work now let's check the USD CAD now the USD CAD is approaching a very strong support level as we can see this was a key support in the past on the 4 hour chart and the market made attempt actually not only one but two attempts to break out from that support level that indicates the strength of the support level um, followed by these two fake breakouts of the mark of the support level so AUD USD let's, let's go to the daily candles AUD USD most likely is gonna be good for the buy for the short time I believe the market is gonna go up here and retest this broken resistance level because as you can see right now we cannot decide much how the USD CAD is gonna move because the market is right now currently it's ranging actually in this channel therefore it's not really easy to predict how the market is gonna move however we are going to make uh, the short signal for the buy look at that that price action is my favorite actually it indicates a bullish reversal at the support therefore what we are going to do actually let me just be accurate as much as possible in my opinion that's how the market is gonna move let me just uh, be accurate guys hold on talk about 200 no not this one like here only to here to 120 pips let me just be sure let's just scroll to the left and see uh, I just want to be sure it's just coming back here okay anyway that 
should be a good level actually i think this is the best level to start buying the usd cad we can start buying the pair at the level 1.38964 and the stop loss is of course gonna be below that support level right here almost 45 uh, 54 pips that's gonna be the stop loss at 1.38385 and the take profit is going to be right at this previous support level right here take profit is going to be 1.40190 again hopefully this signal is going to work and give us a lot of <coughs> profits <coughs> now let's check the usdgpy <coughs> usdgpy as i predicted last week has reversed at the support level as you can see we are having right here let me just show it to you we are having here a bullish breakout candle followed by this support level the pair has respected this support level and therefore it made this a strong bullish reversal now zooming in on the 4 hour chart we can see this engulfing bullish breakout candle this one here and we can see that we had here a previous support on the left most likely what will gonna happen now the market is gonna continue growing and uh, sorry continue rising and the pair is most likely gonna hit this resistance level so fairly saying the USD GPY this week is gonna be for good for the buy uh, let me just uh, try to find the best level hopefully the pair is gonna fall for uh, like 15 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy we can keep the trade running until it hit this, that resistance level aiming about 60 pips of profit uh, there could be more actually that could be more we can make it up, up to this resistance level yes however I just want to be sure everything is gonna be fine and everyone is gonna be safe from entering my signals that should be fine actually yes so the take profit is gonna be nearly of 90 pips and the stop loss is 50 pips let me just uh, mark the levels uh, the stop loss is gonna be one sorry okay the stop loss is gonna be 105.883 and we can enter the buy order for the USD GPY at 106.6 uh, sorry 462 and then the take profit level take profit is gonna be on 107.386 so again hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and hopefully we will make some decent and good profit out of this signal now let's check the USD CHF now the USD CHF is also reversing from that resistance level however as I'm telling you uh, on every single weekly analysis on the USD CHF the USD CHF is uh, moving up the trend is moving up the market is not going down at this point look at that the growth here on the USD CHF is phenomen phenomenal meaning we can look for on the daily candles we can expect the pair to actually make a small reversal let me just be sure look at that key support level we cannot ignore that here right here let me just pause the video for a minute guys all right guys so i was doing some more analysis on the usd chf just to be sure the signal is going to be valid and from drawing the trend lines it seemed like the pair is indeed gonna head up after hitting again that there is a support level as you can see we had that key support level in the past right here this one here this key support level we are going to rely on it not to mention it was also a support level right here and after this bullish engulfing candle this one right here most likely now this support level is gonna keep its position as a support so the USD CHF is good for the buy as well uh, on the level we can start buying on 0.96813 and the stop loss is gonna be easily actually if the pair is gonna break out from that support level let me see how many pips is that actually you can make it more from that support level right here that's gonna be our stop loss hopefully it won't it won't uh, reach this level the stop loss 0.96219 and the take profit level is gonna be actually at this resistance level right here 
that resistance. Let me just be sure. 165. That's a lot actually. I don't think it's gonna rise that much. We can make it at uh, this resistance level. So we can keep buy uh, our buy order open for the USD CHF until it hit that resistance level right here. So the take profit is gonna be 0 0.97. 836 hopefully the signal is gonna be valid and the market will give us a decent profit from this signal let's check right now last one is the gold the gold um, is ranging a lot actually same like the euro usd as well we can notice here the ranging market as you can see the pair is ranging at this channel therefore we need to also be wise and give a valid signal for the gold is going to be a short term signal actually a very short term signal just to be sure everyone's money is safe so in my opinion we can start actually buying the gold for short time only just like that check it out that is our signal for the gold we hopefully we are gonna earn 100 pips out of it actually wait a minute Guys, give me just a few seconds. I will do some more analysis just to be sure about the gold. Okay, guys, after checking the daily candles and the four hour candles as well, what we can notice here is the breakout from this support level with this bearish breakout candle. And most likely the pair is going to continue falling all the way until it hit that support level. Therefore, we just need to wait for the right moment to start to st uh, to start <laughs> shorting the gold right on this resistance level and we're gonna keep our uh, short uh, trade open all the way until it hit this previous support level right here now going to the one hour chart we can see this is strong engulfing candle uh, bearish engulfing candle this candle is very strong and therefore um we need to hope actually that the market is gonna keep this support level right here let me just show you this support level exactly right here we are just hoping that the market uh, or this support level is gonna keep its position as a support and the market is gonna rise again hitting the very same level of that resistance which we are having right here resistance number one and just hopefully the market is gonna rise up creating the resistance number two on the very same level of that resistance and therefore we can start shorting the gold all the way until it hit that support level now of course that's gonna be a lot of pips however as i said i just want to make sure everyone is gonna be safe and therefore i'm gonna select this one right here to be the take profit and the stop loss is gonna be placed right above that resistance level right here actually should be more should be more yeah let me just be sure again the problem is the stop loss is going to be set right here but we are also having here a resistance level and not to mention of course that this, the very same level most likely is going to be uh, close to fibonacci 61.8 therefore um giving the stop loss for the gold is going to be difficult because we need to see the price action it is the only thing that will indicate if the candle should be closed with the loss or not therefore i'm going to give to give you the stop loss level right here right sorry right here and the take profit is going to be as i said on this previous support uh, support the profit is going to be 165 pips of profit the loss is going to be nearly um nearly to 70 pips however please pay attention my friends this is really very important if you see any bullish breakout candle like that and the candle actually closed as a bullish breakout candle then close the trade immediately because if this happens most likely the market is going to continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance level or if you see the candle here closed as a bullish pin bar like that if you see any pin bar here like that the market means it's gonna continue rising up and in this case we have to close the trade with the loss immediately so please be very wise and very be very careful about your signal for the gold i don't want anyone to lose a lot of money because of me so the stop loss is gonna be 1714.41 and we can start shorting the gold sell the gold at 1706.56 
and the take profit level is gonna be 1701.96 so these are my signals for this week I really hope they will work out and they will be valid we can always be careful about our signals guys if we just pay attention to the price action please always keep your eyes on the trade keep your eyes on the price action just be sure that the signal is still valid before you decide to continue or close the signal anyway hopefully it's gonna be a very good and profitable week for, for everyone in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching